some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. In today's video, we have Terrence from Annapolis Audits as he attempts to cause trouble at a human resources office. Yeah, he thinks he owns the place and he has every right to do anything he wants in there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this idiot make a complete fool out of himself. CCTV cameras in use as always. They're always filming us as we're always filming them. If no one is at the desk, please leave your paperwork in the mailbox outside the front door. Thank you. And then here is human resources. Oh, I think this is the one that's down the street a little bit on the right. Is that where they moved down the street on the right a little bit? Uh, over here. On that side? I got you. I thought it was down this way to the right. Cool, cool, cool. And then here's the outgoing mail, mail copy ring, and the recycle area. Ooh, blah, blah. Restrooms through the door. Toner, recycle down on. So this is for like ink cartridges. I've never covered Annapolis audits on this channel. But if a subscriber of mine sent me this video, but the video was way over an hour long, so I've had to cut out a great deal of it. Sir. Sir. Are you a county employee? What's that? Are you a county employee? No. Yeah. Okay, then you need to come back over here and go to my metal detector. And I'd like to, what are you videoing? Okay, hold on. I can only answer one question at a time. Okay. Yeah, I walked through the metal detector already. You saw me do that. Uh, you need to... But I saw a badge, looked like what a badge hanging from your pants, but now you're not a county employee. Yeah, it's my work badge. Okay, so you need to come back through here. I did that. Didn't I walk through there already? Sir, I thought you were a county employee. Uh huh. You're telling me you're not a county employee. Well, I didn't say that before I walked through the thing, to be fair. Are you a county employee? I don't want to answer any more questions. Okay, then you have to go back through here. Uh huh. Step back around here, empty everything out of your pockets. No. Put all your stuff, then you can't go up in the building. Yeah. I've been informed as well that your family owns a local business in the area. So my question to you is why are you wasting your time doing this BS? If I were you, I'd be learning how to run that business. Absolutely. It's a public no, building. It's a public building, correct? I walk After through the, you go through my security point. I walk through the thing. Go back through and empty everything out of your pockets. Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, then goodbye. Uh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Goodbye. No. You're not, you, going, you're not going through my building without okay. going and, and emptying out all your pockets. So now I will answer your question. I am viewing anything that I can see from public okay, in this fine. public building. Can't you can video all you what want. What was the attitude for? And you can even go through the building once you go through. I did. I walked through the building. Detector. And it went off. And I thought you had a county badge on, which you do not. Yeah. So you need to go back through, empty out all your And then it could be my belt or my keys, but I will assure you that I have no weapons or any nefarious yeah, things on me. We're going to find that out if you want to continue on through the building. If um, you don't, I will not surrender my Fourth Amendment right okay, in order to, to check out this okay. public building. Thank goodbye. you. Though. No. Yes. No, sir. Thank yes. you. Though. No. Goodbye. I will not surrender my Fourth Amendment right to walk through this public building. I don't building. want to hear that. Go, man. Go. I know you I'm don't want to hear it. Games. I know you don't want to hear it. It's it's security protocol. If you don't want to do it, I then you don't come through the building. It's not the law. Every time I turn around, I hear one of these asinine idiots think they know something about the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment covers unreasonable searches and seizures of your home, your person, and your property. But as far as going through a metal detector in a uh, business like this, I'm afraid it doesn't cover that because it is part of the building security system, and they want to make sure you're okay, that you're not going to cause unreasonable harm to anybody who is in that place. Well, did I say law? I no, said you protocol. said protocol. I know right. what I'm saying. I understand it's your okay, protocol. So but you're not, going through, you're not walking law. around through my building without going through the security protocol. That's the last time I'm going to tell you. Okay? Okay. You're more than welcome. That's the last time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear it. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Okay. What's your name, sir? Right there. You got it on your little camera. How do you how do you spell right there? Is it R I G H T or W R I T E? Have a nice day, sir.
How do you spell right? Have a nice day. Can I get a badge number with that? I don't have a badge number. Right here? You got an ID number, sequence number? 7039. Okay. See, was that so hard? No, you asked me for a badge number. I do not have a badge number. And what did you just give me then? That's my ID number. There you go. Generally, you would say, I don't have a badge number, but I have an you ID number. You don't know what I generally would do. Well, I'm just saying, generally, a good cop would okay. say that. So a good cop. So you know what a good cop is. Oh, I'm just telling uh, you what a good cop would do. You have? I'm sorry? How much law enforcement experience do you have? Uh, only what my cell phone grants me. Okay. Which is to say, zilch, zero, nada, nothing. But apparently it's more than some folks. So, so you know what a good cop is? Um, yeah. Okay. I've seen the difference. Right. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. You have a nice day as well, sir. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. You have a good week. Goodbye. Hope you have a good week. Goodbye. See you. Have a good one. Okay. Goodbye. Go. If yep. you're not going to go through my security checkpoint, Ooh, you need to leave the building. Please don't touch me. Ooh. Please don't touch me, sir. If you're not going to go through my security checkpoint, you need to leave the building. Sir, please don't touch me. Oh. Leave the building. Please don't touch me, Goodbye. sir. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Why I'm did you just push your hands me? Why did you just assault me, sir? Why did you just commit simple battery against me, sir? Goodbye. If you don't want to go through my security checkpoint, you're not allowed in the building. Why Good do you think bye. you have the right to put your hands Goodbye. on me when I haven't committed a crime, sir? Please Back don't obstruct the doorway. Back you're up. obstructing the doorway. That's a violation Dude. of Maryland 501.3, section C and D, and 501.9, section D. So good you back job. your fat ass up and move out from in front goodbye. of the door. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Have move a good your day. fat ass from in front of the door and Have stop blocking it. Have a good day. I'm trying to come in the door, you fat Whoa, boy, if you talk to anybody from my neck of the woods like that, one of those guys, one of the good old boys from my area, would knock your block off. You have, you have business here? Yeah, I do. Legal and lawful business, and it's none of your fucking business. Why are you obstructing the door? That's two misdemeanors, sir. That's two misdemeanor crimes. Why are you obstructing the doorway? Why are you obstructing the free flow of a private citizen in a public doorway? Goodbye. Have a nice day. You have a great day. Okay. I'm trying to finish my legal and lawful business. Thank you. You're going to go through my security? I walked through there. You saw me Are you going to empty your pockets and go through my security? I know, sir. Then you're not coming in. I'm only going to do what the law requests me to do, sir. Okay. Goodbye. Can I get your supervisor out here since you put your hands on me? I don't have a supervisor. You do. You're not the boss of shit. That's for damn sure. Goodbye. You're for damn sure. You ain't the boss of shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's for dang sure. Have a good day. You have a great day. Oh, woe is me. You're blocking access for a free private citizen. Oh, woe is me. Oh, wait a minute. Are those free private citizens going to the door too? Why aren't you doing anything about them? Could it be because you are the problem, frauditor? Okay. What's your supervisor's name, sir? I don't have a supervisor. You don't? So you run this town is what you're saying? You're the sheriff? I run the town? You're the sheriff? No. Is that what you're saying? No. You're the sheriff of Copper County? Yeah. What are you, a Mike Wilson supporter? What's wrong, buddy? You upset? Mike Wilson. I don't even know who Mike Wilson is. That's good. Can you stop locking the door so it stops no. hitting me, though? No, you can if you stand could, over if there. If you could stop committing misdemeanors, that would be great. You, you can stand thank over you. there. I'm going to stand in the public lobby. Thank you, though. If you go through my security point, you're more than welcome to I walked through there. You saw me walk through there. You put your metal items in the bowl, okay. just like everybody else. Okay. And we'll do this. If okay. not... Man, you're way out of control here, buddy. Yeah, I see. I'm out of control. Yeah, you're a loose cannon. <laughs> Can. You are. You're you're committing two misdemeanors right Why now, you sir. You're telling me that. I know. You obviously don't care, though. You're in dereliction of it. I'm in dereliction. I'm in derelict. I'm a loose cannon. What else am I? Whatever you, you want to be. That bastard. You can be whatever you want to be, buddy. It's a free country. Yeah, it absolutely is. You can call yourself a fucking unicorn if you want to. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we'll repeat what you call me. I'm asking you to move from in front of the public doorway. Are you going to go through my security checkpoint? I've already done it. No, you haven't. Yes, I did. You watched me walk through there. Yep. And I thought you were a county employee. What we does that change? Employee. County employees. Can they don't. So, so you're saying that a private citizen is subject to some sort of regulations that county employees aren't? Exactly. You're discriminating because I'm a private I'm citizen and don't work for the county. Is what I'm you're saying? Oh wow! You think that's discrimination? Eh, eh, wrong. Every job that I have worked at, there's a spot where employees can go where nobody else out in the public can go. Like Walmart, you're not going to be able to go to GM receiving, grocery receiving, the back areas, the ad office, the personnel office, or any other office except for the 100 room if you get called stealing. If you don't know that simple fact, then I take it you've never 
worked a day in your life. Now I'm going to skip forward a little bit because I'm tired of hearing his whiny crybaby self. Six and a half hours later. I said his breath. Calm down. Mind your own business. I can do whatever I want, just like you can. Remember? Please stop being disorderly, ma'am. Come on, ma man. you got business. Come on. Hi, can I get the... Hi, how are you doing? I was asking for the supervisor of whoever Deputy Newton was, but he told me that he didn't have a supervisor, so... But now there's... Um, I'm out here at the public building attempting to just gather some content in the public areas of this public building, and he's placed his hands on me, uh, committed simple assault and battery against me, and then he's also committing two misdemeanors by obstructing the public. I am at the Human Resources building... He's at 205 here. Duke Street. 205 Duke Street. Main Street. Or Main, Main Street. Street. Sorry, 205 Main Street. Ma'am, I told you I was taking pictures. I told them I was taking pictures of the public areas. I do. I have legal and lawful business, sir. Yes, I do. Do you have business with permits or zoning? No, he just wants no, to I have legal around. and lawful business here, sir. When I asked him to go through here... Sir, I, I, I'm trying to talk to you, but I've got other officers and deputies speaking to me, and there's a lot of conversations going on. If you could, if you could come down here, that would be great, sir, because your officer has already placed his hands on me and illegally remove me from this public building when I haven't committed any crimes and I have legal... Well, now they want you out, so you need to go. I don't care that they want me out. Maryland 6-409. I don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to hear it because it's the law and you can't do anything about it. Maryland 6-409 right, okay, says that they can't just remove me. You know, you frauditors making it so easy for me to look these laws up. You pronounce them proudly as if you know what they actually say or that you're willing to bet that nobody else will look it up. But me, I'm going to look it up. Unless I'm being disorderly or I don't have legal and lawful business here. I'm not being disorderly uh, and I have legal uh, and lawful okay, business here, sir. Oh, contraire. You have been disorderly this whole time. And did you read the part about any, any authorized person of government of that unit can tell you to leave. No, I don't suppose you did read that part. What are you doing? I'm gathering content for a story, sir. You got a story? I don't want to divulge any more information about the story. I'm an independent you, journalist gathering content for a story. Around, around. You just want to take pictures of the inside of this place? Yep, the inside of the public the areas. Yep. The of what? For my story, sir. I don't even have any officers out there. They There's five of them out here, sir. You got Newton, you've got you know. Bowman, you've got Dunlap, you've got Tyre, I almost said Tyler, you got Tyre who's trying to block his thing, and you got... Oh, you're talking about the special deputies. I guess so. At the courthouse. Sorry. No, I'm down here at the human resources. I'm not at the courthouse. I'm at the planning and zoning, inspections and permits, and the environmental health. I'm not at the courthouse. Okay, well, there's no call for service. That's what I'm trying to... Look. I'm looking at the computer right now. Okay. I, I think this is me calling you for service because your officer was committing two misdemeanors by obstructing the walkway. Okay, I'm going to save another hour of a headache right here. The supervisor finally shows up, and the supervisor tells him that he can stay as long as he goes through the metal detector. But no, he refuses, acts like an idiot some more, and then eventually leaves. All that thing and puffing for nothing.